hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial today we are going to design something like this using adobe photoshop without any further i do let's get started all right launch your photoshop go to file menu or you can use ctrl plus n to bring out a new background then i'm going to use 1080 by 1080 over here and leave your resolution at 300 then this place then you can leave it white or apply transparent background so any hour you want it then for here i'm going to leave it at white background then click ok to grid then this is our working background area now so what i'm going to do now then select your rent angle too then you draw a rent angle like this so over here now so what i'm going to do i'm going to apply a color then use something like this Then after selecting the color now the next thing i'm going to create a shape like this so i think 25 percent is okay then having created the shape then select your warp then you drag it down like this Then at the top here, you drag this one down like this. So you will have something like this. Okay, so having created it this way now. So the next one we are going to do then is to create a cycle. Then go to your ellipse tool. Then you select it now this time around don't hold your shift key for perfect cycle then we are going to draw something like this then you bring it down position it over there then you drag it here now i'm going to apply a color to this one then select this color then meanwhile make this one lighter than the other one so as you can see let me zoom in then you can see a line over here so now we are going to select this one then you drag it down so that the open space will be closed so you can see now so the shape is not showing over there okay then having grade that one now so the next one we are going to do then is to select this one then you drag it over here to duplicate it then hold your shift key and alt key while you drag it like this then come to the top over here Hold your shift key and alt key, then you drag it this way. Alright. Now I'm going to duplicate this one again. Then do the same thing. Hold your shift key and alt key while you drag it this way. And this one you drag it this way. Then before then we are going to select this one then apply color like this so that you will be able to see this one very well all right so having done it now so what we are going to do next is by selecting this one hold your control key you click on it then having click on it now on this one we are going to rasterize it select your eraser tool 
then you can turn off this one to see the effect so now i will erase it then ctrl plus d to deselect or you go to select and you will see deselect here ctrl plus d now turn this one on then on this one now we are coming back to this one then duplicate this one then select the one at the bottom of it now we are going to reduce it this way then bring it down like this then you can apply another color for now to demarcate the differences something like this for now okay Then I'm going to reduce it. I think it's going to be like this. It's okay. Alright. So now you go, we have this one. So then having graded this one now. So I'm going to apply the gradient overlay color to all these ones. So what I will do now, then I'm going to select this one. Then go to your blending option. Then select gradient overlay. Then I will drag down because I have prepared the color. So I'm going to apply this color on it. Then I'll click OK. So all this color code, I'm going to leave the color code in the description so the test i'm going to 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 update in the description so this that test is going to contain the color code so you can download it and copy all the color code so having done this one so the next one is this one so we are going to apply the color grading Now, I'm going to select this one, then apply OK. Then, and this one over here, I'm going to use this one. Then I will hold my Alt key while I drag it over here. So, the same thing apply to that one. Now, select the middle one. Then, Create a new layer, select your brush over here, then I'm going to reduce the brush size using your bracket, then I will leave the background color here white and I'll click OK, something like this. Then now, what I will do now, then I'm going to drop my tool and I'm going to Press Ctrl plus T to select it. Then continue to drag it this way. Bring it down like this. Then hold your Shift key, drag it down. Then leave it like this. Okay. Then right click and create a clipping mask. Go to your blending mode and select overlay. Then this is the outcome. On this one, then we can adjust the color to be lighter, a little bit light, somehow like this. All right. So then you click OK. Now select this one. Then let's go back to our, then use soft light. I think soft light is more better because the overlay is too light. So let's use soft light then this is the outcome of it okay now you can select it all then and group it this way then you can reduce it all right now ctrl plus j to duplicate or you drag it over here then to make a duplicate then we can drag this one down over here 
then you select this one then go to your gradient color and over here i'm going to select another color from here by using this one then i'll click ok then select the inner one go to your color then you select the color from here like this then click ok and the top one this one then you can also select any color of your choice so like this it's okay then you click okay then this one we forget to apply the gradient overlay okay then we are going to select our blending option then go to gradient overlay color bring it down and select this one okay all right now i'm going to copy this one copy layer style then come back to this one right right click then paste the layer style so then you will have something like this now what i'm going to do now then is to create a background column then i'm going to my solid color and select a color from here then you can make it darker this way then you click ok now select a new layer bring it down to this position select your brush over here then make it white then increase the the brush by using your bracket then i'm going to click now then to apply color like this now then go to your color mode blending mode and then and i'm going to use soft light or overlay anyone you can use so now i use soft light over there then i'm going to increase the lights over there by this way then you click ok now you can still change this one this color to something darker like this something like this so then if you prefer a color like this then you make use of the one you want okay so you can see so by like this you can select any color of your choice all right then click ok so that is the end of it this is how you can design something like this using adobe photoshop thank you so much for following don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my video then if you need any of my flyer then you can go to my fiverr account the link is in the description then and then order any of your flyer thank you so much for following i really appreciate it.